Hey friends, Dr. Babar here. Today I am going to discuss about the sodium potassium pump. So in this video I made sodium potassium pump to easily remember by the students. So I draw a cell here. I, I am drawing a cell. So this is a sodium channel and this is a potassium channel. So you know that uh, in sodium potassium pump uh, sodium move out of the cell and potassium moves into the cell. So in sodium potassium pump also there are three sodium which move out of the cell and two potassium which moves into the cell. So student often uh, feel difficulty in remembering that how many uh, sodium moves out of the cell and how many potassium moves into the cell. So here I made a formula uh, so that you can easily remember that how many sodium moves out of the cell and how many potassium moves into the cell. So three sodium moves out okay I uh, writing here out okay and uh, here two potassium moves into the cell okay so you can remember easily by uh, three sodium moves out three is bigger than two and also sodium is uh, denoted by Na so Na has uh, two uh, letters and potassium is denoted by K and K has one letter. So uh, 3 is bigger than 2 and also sodium Na has two letters. It is uh, bigger than K and also out has three spellings and in has two spellings. So in this uh, 3 sodium moves out of the cell the things uh, in which is, uh, all are big big in this all are big 3 is bigger than 2 n a has two letters and it is bigger than k and o u t out has three spellings then in in has two spelling so here these are small that 2 is smaller than uh, 3 and potassium k is uh, one letter than n a has two letter and in is also uh, has less spelling than out so you can easily remember that uh, three sodium moves out of the cell and two potassium moves into the cell in sodium potassium pump these three sodium moves out of the cell and these two potassium moves into the cell so by this way you can easily remember the uh, sodium potassium pump so i hope you got the idea to how to remember the sodium potassium pump easily Thank you.